Jerry Keller is an elite athlete who travels the country biking, running, and swimming in triathlons. But last fall, this recovery nurse was feeling numbness and terrible pain of her own in her neck and arm. Went to Cozumel and ultimately could not finish the race due to the pain in my neck. It got acutely worse during the race, so I had to drop out of the race. So Keller got hold of UofL neurosurgeon Dr. Tom Allstadt, who took an MRI of Keller on a Friday, found she had a deteriorating disc in her spine, and scheduled her surgery for four days later. And it wasn't the traditional spinal fusion surgery, which would have been the only option just a few years ago. This time, it was surgery to implant what's called a MOBI-C device in Keller's spine. The device is implanted to be a press fit into the disc space. So the, the, bottom in, the bottom and the top end plates are cobalt chrome with a titanium spray coating that will, the bone will grow into. And then there's a polyethylene core. The polyethylene core is designed to slide a little bit on the bottom end plate and then be rounded on the top to allow for the normal motion of the cervical spine. Dr. Allstadt says the MOBI-C device is not the right cure for everybody's disc pain, but it was perfect for Keller. This device is excellent for young, active patients. So uh, I would typically implant this at a patient and then at, at a, their one month follow up, I would allow them to do whatever activities they felt that they wanted to do without any restrictions. Whereas if someone had a fusion, I would restrict them for about three months to allow that to heal. I was back walking on the treadmill four miles three days after the surgery. And then I'd say seven days after the surgery, I was riding a spin bike for two hours. And then two weeks I was swimming in the pool for a mile. So I got back into uh, the swing of things rather quickly. Allstat says the traditional spinal fusion can limit range of motion, whereas the MOBI-C is designed to flex like the spine. You still have the normal motion in your neck, and you can go back to doing what you want sooner without any significant restrictions. That was music to Keller's ears. She's now back training for triathlons with a small scar in her neck, the only visible sign of her surgery. Within three weeks, I, I ran 21 miles. It, it was amazing.